Hey everyone, Retro Girls UK are back for a brand new video. Look at the weather. Oh my god. But we're going to be popping to the locals today to see if anyone donated any of their Christmas presents because it, I think it's like the 2nd of January at the time of recording. So we're going to see if anyone's donated any of their stuff that we can grab. But before I get into this video, if you're brand new here on our channel and you love physical media and oh, video games much as we do, then why not hit that like button, consider subscribing. And most importantly, hit that notification bell to get all the latest updates. So what are we waiting for? Let's go.
was we picked up some pretty cool stuff to be fair. We picked up a t shirt, a Blu-ray, video games. I do apologise, I've got very spots. Near the river? Yeah, shall I flip the camera? It's literally like being back on holiday all over again, you know, and we got trapped in the flood. That is the weather outside. You can't see, but it's like bad. Is that headed? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, we've got a bundle of stuff. Uh, I picked up. Oh, yeah, I need to complete the bag. I picked up something in the charity shop. It was £1.50 is why I some got it. I don't know what it is because it was sealed, but I'm going to unseal it now. Have a look, see what it is. I might have. Oh, yay! So, that's vomit. All bagged up. I'm not going to unbag these. I've already got a couple of these bagged up and keep it in the box in this place. Don't judge me. Judge. Wallace. Judge. The wrong trousers and have a ball. Which, what, have I, what do I want to get next, Lisa? The tattoo of that. Yeah. Um, these are going to be in no order. Show you t shirt if you like. Okay. Mm. So I went in Powerland because we needed to pick up some uh, markers for the dogs. And they had a clothing sign up. I don't even know if this is inside, but I've never seen this before. I've never seen this before in my life. I've never even owned a Flintstones t-shirt before. Hang on, let me just tell you. Look at that. How cool is that? And I only paid six pounds for that. Five. For five pounds, sorry. That's six euros. And it is an actual fish or Hanna Barbara. Mm. We're going to cash generator, as you can see by the bag. And we picked up one one video game, which I'm not going to keep box, as everyone knows. We unbox most of games of the PS2, PS1, and the odd game by game for box retro consoles. And I picked up Ben 10 on Universe 2. If it's, I will put the CX prices on the screen that like we always do, or gameplays, or whatever. You know the usual jargon that goes on this channel. Um, but this is just two parts, and it is complete with a manual. Actually, I'm going to keep this number. No, no. Ignore me. Yeah, two pounds, and it does come with like. Little new nuts. Okay, and then we went into CX. CX is funny, you know, because we saw it, right, we saw Steven Universe on DVD, £12, I think it was, and then on Blu-ray, same one, £6. How does that work out? That doesn't make any sense. But anyway, I picked up the proposal for £1.50. I thought I had this, but I don't have this. I've got a sword. I've seen that in the child shop book as well. Did you? Yeah. Oh, wow. But now I've got the proposal in the collection. Okay. Picked up two games. They had some GameCube games behind the counter. But I didn't know there was more. So I asked Lisa, does she know what the GameCube games are? I said, at the back somewhere. So I went and had a look. And they had Tetris Worlds for £6. I am not even having the idea. If this is one player or two players, it doesn't... One to four players, it does take up four slots, uh, blocks in the memory card. With the RCX, normally they keep the manuals in the box. I thought, six quid, I'll risk it without a manual. If I spend more, I probably want a manual. Even though we don't always keep every game box, it depends on the game. So I've got Tetris Wood, and it does come with manual as well. And it was in, behind, was it behind the counter? Cause got yeah, because they've been keeping the manuals behind the counters now. Probably because people are nicking it. As you all know, the, memory, the, the disc is really small. I got another game. Oh, hang on, comment down below, what's your favourite Tetris? Do you remember the one on Game Boy? Oh, we, got, we put in the Game Boy player, don't we? Yeah. And then Michelle picked up Smarties Mount down for £1.50. We already had this in the collection, but it stopped working because, I don't know if you remember, but back in the day when we had the, the, the PS2... You know, school, yeah. Yeah, we had the PS2 and it, was, it wasn't working properly as it should. And it was scratching all our discs. And then Michelle went to play this again with the new PS2 that we got. And it didn't work, it's got a laser burn running because of the old console that we had. But so, my one doesn't have a manual at home. So she had to pick up another copy and it does come with a very nice manual as well. Gotta say, I'm really happy with my neck about these are my best finds. Okay, you're gonna be I have got a receipt to prove that we did pay our pounds. We have the proof. So we, uh, we picked up a studio Ghibli. I think this is like an American release because it's region free, it's American Australian. This is my neighbour told to I've always wanted to watch this. It wasn't five pounds, it was actually a pound. I was really surprised at that. I, I love it because it's just nice that you can take on your Freaky Friday. Um, they had Lego movie on 4K, it said three quid. We didn't know at the time, I was willing to pay the five pounds. 
We was in the queue ready to pay that five pounds, and she told us it was a pound. Pound, pound. I would have picked up yeah, the Lego man. movie on 4K, but we already own it. And Katie um, doesn't have a list, so she doesn't know what 4K she's got. So we can't pick any up. So we can't pick any up for her, unfortunately. So Katie, if you're watching, you know why. So this is a Disney movie reporter. Now hang on, Blu-ray and DVD. Is this, is this, it is America because the DVD is region one. I didn't and, even know it was a Disney. I did. Well, you can tell it's the same release as your Freaky Friday. Yeah, yeah. And to prove the point is, if you want to, you can see, we did pay. You may be winning what's a ten pounds in there, but we will show you in a minute. We've got a bunch of other stuff. These ones and these. Uh, three, four pounds. So two pounds. Yeah. One and Lisa. Okay. So we do these. Picked up nine to five. Brand new sealed. Factory sealed. I want this on Blu-ray, but it's so expensive. <coughs> Picked up. Go 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 Thirteen. The professional. It's a manga. Not. We don't have this in the. No clip idea. Room. How much do you want to see it? So I just picked them up. I, oh, the best thing I'm going to say is, because I'll show something. The best thing I'll say is, if you're looking for animes or mangas, always look on the spine for that. If you if you can't, if you don't know what the title are, just look. That, that's how we find them, by just scanning the shelves for that. But Lisa will show you what these are. Okay, so, Wolf Children. Is that, is never it? even heard of that. I thought you watched that before. No. Or my think the next one. Probably. I've watched this one, Apple <laughs> We do have some Apple Seeds in the collection, but don't think we have that one. We've got Franklin and the Turtle Lake Treasure. Michelle, I didn't even know that you could get Franklin on DVD. I know you can get them VHS with the Americans. And and do you want the Game Boy game of that? And then, brand new set two, we've got Fame, first season. I've never actually watched this. Yeah, yeah exactly. Sorry. I've never <laughs> actually watched the season to this before. What's the movies? The movies are, are quite good. I've never watched the seasons. So, I'm going to watch the first season, see what it's like. It's only good on my boy the rest because I know there is more than one season. Today. Well, tell you why well, you may be watching it to your regular viewers. You notice you would have picked that up before, and he said did trade it in because you didn't want to keep it because at the time you got twelve pound voucher, didn't you? I did. And then last but not least, we got what do you have it's a big one. Big one. It's a big bag. I can barely get it in the big picture. This is okay. eighteen pounds a six. It's a bit wet from the rain, which I, oops. I'll take a chance with this is. A Lovell and Hardy uh, collection. This is volume 1 to 21. With this, these are uh, paid £10. We have to go for these individual. I wasn't sure if it's complete because of the oh, a little gap with this. I'll be back to it in a second. The disc. Right, okay, so <laughs> sorry we have to pause it then. But when we was in Barnes here yeah, at the counter, they had two discs and the rest in discs. I asked them how much to put one to the donation. She put a donation in. I completely forgot about them. I didn't even know yet yeah, that she put them inside the lower and she, box. She it. told you? That's what I said, grab the lid. I don't remember. <laughs> but I got disc two. This one is in the this, car. This one is like somewhere around here. So when we finish this video, we're going to have to look for this one. Okay. But that's what I got anyway. As I was saying about Lopper, we've got the Lovell and Hardy complete box set. I reckon it's on the floor because I heard it bounce. Um, I thought it was missing one, but some man was in the shop and he actually did nicely had just like he said he's got one through the nose. And I looked on eBay and I couldn't find one at the time. I did have good signal, so I'm looking forward to watching this. Comment down below, what is your favourite one? Do you own the one on Blu-ray with the specials in which I do want to pick up? I don't want to pick the only fours and horses one up. Bit of an off question. Has anyone bought the young ones on Blu-ray yet? I don't think I'd buy it because I'm not a, the biggest fan of that. But it is they're all in mint condition. I don't think it's ever been washed what washed? What? Watched. <laughs> I don't think it's ever been watched, but I am gonna watch these. I'm sure you can get some of these remastered in colour. Thank you, can. But it's a big bloody box set. So that is everything we've got today. Other than that one missing disc. Yes, I will get out the car with something. I don't want to get out the car. Oh, over here today, but it's yeah. a horrible man. So, comment down below what everyone else been up to recently. Have you picked up any good stuff? Always drop down in the comments or on the lives. We're always here. Or join us on our Facebook group. We're always posting deals like recently, which I don't know if I've showed it yet, but I will tell you, I picked up the chant on. 
PS5, Lisa paid £10 for Vic Void, and it got reduced in the game collection website, so it's always worth checking out the Facebook group ad, because we do post deals on there on a regular basis. So I want to say thank you for watching, don't forget to hit that notification bell, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get all the latest updates, so, so, what I was about to, I was about to do the intro. No, we're not in the intro, we're on the outro now. <laughs> so stay safe, and keep hunting.